Today, I'm gonna to show you how to dynamically theme your application, whether you want light mode, dark mode, or a fully custom theme. We're gonna use sweet dynamic resources and app theme binding all built into Xamarin Forms. It's super easy to do, so tune in. Hey everyone, I'm back with another Xamarin Forms 101 video. We've been building an app from scratch all the way to the App Store. It's a really cool coffee application that we've been doing all sorts of fun stuff with. We have list views, collection views, making web requests, login pages. And we recently just took a look at how to use app resources and styles to sort of cut back on the code in your application that you're copying and pasting so you can have these nice styles for all of your controls in your application. This is actually really important when it comes to app themes. Nowadays, iOS and Android and Windows, they all have light theme and dark theme that the users can automatically choose between. Additionally, many devices also switch based on the time of day. So you want your app to be responsive to it. Additionally, you may want to enable custom themes in your application, maybe a blue theme, a green theme, a red theme, uh, or you want to just have one single theme and that's it when the user you know, wants to pick it. So today we're gonna to take a look at how to do that using dynamic resources inside of your Xamarin Forms application. So let's take a look. Now our application so far has a bunch of cool stuff in it. Right now we have a list of coffees over here that are all grouped together, some custom fonts in there, some of the font icons that are going on. And we can see that so far we've hard coded in a static resource. So instead of hard coding a value, we actually go ahead and use this static resource that's defined in my app XAML. So here is that color for that window background color. Now that's great, but since it's a static resource, it's static, it doesn't change, it doesn't update whatsoever. So for example, if I go ahead and toggle this thing over to dark theme, we're gonna see that nothing changes because everything in this application actually is using a static resource. In fact, if we go down here into some of like our labels, for example, here's label medium, or down into our, uh, where is our item template at? Here it is. We have a uh, card, which is coffee card. If we look at those, as we scroll down this page of awesome resources, we have, a static resource text color, which is this black color. And then down here in our coffee card, we actually don't set a color at all. It's the default and this white color is the default. So you probably want to update that a little bit too. Now, if you're over on Android, you want to make sure you're using the latest um, R or, or Q emulators. And also if you don't see this dark theme, you can hit this edit button and you can drag and drop it around and maybe down below with all the additional settings down there. So you can toggle that back and forth and get those updating there. Now, let's say that you you know want to get started and you want to just you know have something that's dynamic. So I want to explain the difference between static and dynamic. So the static resources, they don't subscribe to any change notifications at all, okay? Um, but if, let's say you wanted to have a blue theme or a red theme or a purple theme, what you would do is define a single color and then update sort of your style sheet. You would basically say, here's window color red, window color blue, window color whatever, as a static resource, and then update this single variable. Let me show you what that looks like. For example, the first thing we're gonna do is change this to dynamic resource. And when we do that, Xamarin Forms is now listening for changes to this resource in our code behind or wherever we're gonna update it. So if we take a look over here at our code behind, I've actually added a little tap gesture recognizer on this Coffees of the World label. And what this does is it goes off, it creates three random just variables to create a random color over here. There's random from RGB. And what it does is it taps into our app.current.resources. That is our resource dictionary that we have. And what this is, is a resource dictionary that you can come in and use an index, a string index, whatever the key is. And what this returns um, back to us is just an object. And in this case, we know it's a color because if we go over here, 
We can see it's a color, which means we can replace it with a color. So what I do is I go off and I just simply set it to a new color. Let me just back out these changes here. And what we're going to do now that this is dynamic is tap on that right here. Okay. Notice if I change this back over to static resource. Okay. And I tap on it. Doesn't nothing happens because it's not subscribed to those notifications back to dynamic hit save again, hot reload pops in and immediately it's now listening to our changes in our application. So that's really, really nice. These dynamic resources. Okay. Now you're probably saying, okay, James, that's pretty nice. Um, however, what if I want this to react to the theme or the mode, the dark mode of the application? Well, you're probably not going to use a dynamic resource in that case. What you're going to use is a app theme binding. Okay. It's kind of like a dynamic resource, but instead of listening to changes to the resource dictionary, it's looking for changes to the system setting of light or dark mode. Now by, by default, all right, everything will be sort of a light mode, uh, if on older devices. And then of course, users can pick between light and dark on newer devices. So instead of this, we're going to say app theme binding. That's the keyword. And note that we have dark default or light. So you get to decide what you want it to be. And pretty much light is the default. So you really only need to set dark and light, but you can have a backup there too. Now we have dark default and light. So over here, if I go into my app theme, notice that I have specified now a window background color and window background color dark. And here is a light and here is a dark color there. So you can come in now and I could say dark. And, and what I could do here is I could say, um, when it's in dark, set it to black. And when it's in light, set it to white. For example, here, when I save that, um, what we should see when I go ahead and now toggle this, it's, it's, it's white. And if I toggle to dark theme, we're going to see that it now is black, right? So you can just set a color in here automatically and that will react to the changes. That is quite nice too, but we don't want to do that because we don't want to set black and light and colors all over the place. What we want to do is simplify this up. So what I'm going to do here is replace black with a static resource of window background dark. And for my light, we're going to use static resource window background color hit save there. Now, this went back to the purple because remember that is literally what we set it to, which is correct. Okay. So that means the light is in, in effect here. Okay. Now I use a static resource here because again, we're not actually changing this at all. If I wanted this to be dynamic, okay, I could make it dynamic and then I could go ahead and click on it. So it's up to you if you're ever going to change this, you know, in that mode, you can still have it dynamic, but for most cases, you're going to keep it static because, um, when you save this, right, you don't want to actually have it update nonstop over there. So let's go ahead and now come over here, change it to dark mode. And what we should see if this updates for me is that I may have put it in a funky mode. <laughs> uh oh, let's go ahead and reset it here is that in dark mode, we're going to get color dark and in the background color light, we'll get light. So sometimes uh, I may have clicked around one too many times. <laughs> That's how we do this live and it's fun. All right. So we can see we're clearly in dark mode with our launch page here. And now what we'll see is that we have our dark mode following our dark theme. And over here, if I put this back into light theme, now we're into our light theme there. So that is a very easy way of specifying your colors using app theme binding. All right. Now you're saying James, well, light theme looks pretty good, but what about dark theme? Well, that's no good, right? Because all of our labels are hard coded in here. So we're going to need to update those. Luckily, like I've shown you earlier, we're using nice things such as a coffee co card and a label over here. Now we can actually leave these as static resources because we're not changing the style. We're changing a value inside of the style and that can still be dynamic and it will register for changes. So what we can do is go into our app here and notice that I have text color, text color, dark, 
window background color, window background color dark, card background, card background dark. Um, and those, you know, kind of, there's a theme here, right? So that I have like a normal and then a dark and same thing. Actually, when I copied these resources over from Apple, I have all the colors here and then the dark colors as well. So let's go into here. And the first thing we're going to do is update this label. Now this is a base label. So actually all of the different label types, micro, small, medium, large, all inherit from this one style. So all we need to do is update this one. So again, we're going to use app theme binding. We're going to say in dark mode, use a static resource of, let's go ahead and minimize this down of text color dark. When it's in light mode, let's use a static resource of text color. All right. And this is kind of like a theme that we have going on here. So let's copy that. Then down over here in our coffee card, we actually don't have a background at all. So let's go ahead and do setter uh, over here, setter of property background color. Again, we're going to set the color here. And here, instead of it being the text color, we're going to set the dark mode to the card background dark and card background. We can also see over here, we have the same issues going on in our in our button outline. So the text color here is set to just a resource and our border color is also set to a resource. There we go. Now we can go ahead and save that. And let's go back over here. Now, one thing I've noticed is when I update styles with these app themes, you can see they're squiggly. I think it's because they need to be recompiled in. So let's go ahead and just refresh the application. Just hit the restart button there. And this should go ahead and trigger those changes into our application. So again, we are in dark theme. We can see the splash screen come up here as it loads up into debug mode. And now let's go ahead and bring this over. We can see that all of our colors are updated. Look at that. That looks pretty good. And in fact, even our little button down here with the load more is all good to go. If I change this up here, change it back into light mode. Now we're in light mode. We literally just implemented an app theme dynamically based on the user change there, which is super duper cool. Look at that. Look at that. That is super nifty. Go back to dark theme. Boom. And see, it wasn't that much code. Once we have those styles in there, we're able to really fine tune the light and dark theme of our application, which is really, really nice. Now we're not done yet. Okay. Because you might be saying, James, I have a lot of applications that I've seen out there that enable me to pick a theme. All right. So pick the light or the dark theme or have it as the user default preference. And luckily Xamarin forms also has you covered here. Um, I actually covered this in a blog post earlier talking about how to do this. So actually, if I go over here, I'll put this in the show notes back in March or so I did this great looking setting screen for Xamarin forms. I talked all about my cadence application, how I used to use a table view. And then I came over here and I implemented this really beautiful setting screen. And I did this settings picker over here for different colors. And then it looked a little bit like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here as it goes through here you can use the system default can change dynamically. I can pick light, I can pick dark and I can override those colors. All right. So that's something that is very, very nice that you can totally do in your application. So it's kind of something nice there. So how would we do this in our app? Well, I've come over and I've created a settings page. In fact, it's, it's the code from that, that sample. So I actually have some theme radio buttons here. I have a grid, I have a radio button and I'll just kind of show you what this looks like. So if I just go over here and I go into settings, uh, we actually have a, a page that looks pretty good. In fact, it is using our coffee card. So we can see there is if I go ahead and toggle this back over to light, we have a light theme here, which is pretty nice. I am using um, some other colors here. I have a light radio button color, a dark radio button color, and these are also dynamically changed by the theme that I have picked. So here's dark mode here. It goes back to dark mode. Let's first fix up the background color of this page. So let's go ahead here and just copy and paste this into our settings page or else that will annoy me. There we go. And of course we can then do title and we'll say settings. There we go there. 
And again, sometimes with these app themes, it may want to um, have you reload the application too. So let's go back over here and take a look. Oh, I think probably I'm into a different mode. There we go. So light theme there. All right, cool. So now we have our backgrounds updated. We're kind of good to go. Now, what we want to do is give our user the ability to use the system default or use a light or a dark mode manually in the application. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is create a settings class. Now, I haven't really covered preferences and saving different uh, values inside of an application, but we're using Xamarin Essentials here. I have an ent entire Xamarin Essentials API of the Week series that you can watch over on the Xamarin Developers YouTube or Channel 9. I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well. But what I'm doing here is I'm creating a public static class of settings. And here I have a simple integer called theme. And this theme comes in and it enables me to set a theme. So zero would be default, one would be light, and then um, two would be dark. And the default here is just to use the default setting. Now, if I go into um, my um, um, actual um, settings code behind over here, here's what we're going to do. What I do is I say settings page, settings.theme. When I open this up, I set the correct radio button. So if it's default, set it to default. If it is light, set it to light checked and dark to dark checked. And then down over here, this is what I do, is whenever one of those radio buttons is checked and changed, I look at the text on the actual radio button itself. And then what I do is I say, well, if it's system, set it to zero. If it's a theme, set it to one. And if it and if it's light, set it to one. If it's dark, set it to two. So kind of the inverse, right? Here, I'm saying set the radio button correctly when you start up. And over here, then I'm saying settings theme. So for example, if I come into my coffee, let's do that again. And let's go into the settings. And I go into settings and I set it to light. And then I go ahead and close it out and open it up one more time. This is going to save that settings for me when this boots up again. So here, over here, now it's set to light, okay? So that's how this little theme is done. If I set it back to system, we're on system. Now, one thing we need to implement here is this thing called the theme, <laughs> all right? Um, and set theme. So this is something that, um, that you have to do, or what I like to do at least, which is telling Xamarin Forms what theme to use inside of code. So this set theme actually is blank right now. Let's go to definition. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply say switch settings dot theme. Okay. And if it's zero, we are going to go ahead and set default. So this will be default. Here we can go ahead and then do you know, one and two, and this will be light, and then this will be dark. Now, in this case, what I'm allowing is basically use the system default, use light always, or use dark always. Now, what you can do at this point, if you wanted to have a green theme, a red theme, or whatever theme, is you can sort of implement your own theme and not use app theme binding, and then um, go ahead and use dynamic resources everywhere instead of the app theme binding. So it's up to you. I like to keep it simple, light theme, dark theme, user preferences, that's it. But this should give you a good uh, reference of, of how you can implement custom, custom themes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say app.current.userAppTheme. All right. And this user app theme is an OS app theme. And we're going to go ahead and bring in Xamarin Forms. And this is either dark, light, or unspecified. So this is actually pretty, fa uh, pretty fantastic because what we're saying is set the user theme of the app to a specific value. So here, if we say unspecified, what that means is use the system, whatever the system is, all right? Over here, we're going to say, um, if it's one, which this is the default is unspecified, use light. Okay. 
else over here, use dark. So we're telling Xamarin Forms, hey, Xamarin Forms, you need to go off and apply my theme that I want. So this is my OS theme. So whenever the user comes in to the settings page, we're going to update the theme. Additionally, what we're going to do is we're going to come into our app um, dot XAML, okay? And in our app dot XAML, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and do a few things here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to say the theme. I like to call it the theme uh, dot set theme. There we go. And when the application loads, we're going to override whatever is inside of the, the, whatever the default is. We're going to set it based on our preferences. Additionally, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and um, register something on the on resume. So on the on resume, so if the user like changes stuff over here, I'm going to say the theme dot set theme over here. And then I'm going to say requested theme, uh, theme changed uh, plus equals. And this is actually a um, ch change event when the user changes the theme. So whenever I'm on resume, that's going to do that. And here for on start, I'm going to call on resume. So it just calls it. So start the application, call on resume. If I resume the application, call on resume. Same thing over here. I'm going to kind of copy and paste my on sleep. And I'm going to go ahead and deregister that event. So when it goes to sleep, unregister that event. When it comes to resume again, register it again. Then what I'm going to do um, inside of this app theme request change is I'm going to go ahead and say begin invoke on main thread and then adjust the theme. Now, really, you probably don't need to do this too much unless you are having fully dynamic themes in your application. You want to set a few things in the code behind. But I want to show you that you have full control of app theme um, change events inside of your application. And to be honest with you, that should be just about it. Let's go ahead and run this application again with all of our changes. And remember that the default that we set was back to default. So it should go ahead and take our changes from our application over here. And let's add a breakpoint uh, over on set theme once we get into that settings page. So let's go here into our settings page. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say use the dark theme. OK, notice that the theme setting is set to two. If I actually look at the user theme, it is currently unspecified. But we are going to go ahead and set it to dark mode. All right. And just like that, we've updated it to dark mode, light, dark, light, dark, system preference. Come to system preference, change it to dark. Now it's dark, light, dark, light, system. Look at that go. That's really cool. So now what we've done is we've utilized the user app theme and app theme bindings to automatically not only create dynamic themes for our application, listen to the system theme, but also allow our users to override it whatever they want. So you could set this up on different timers, different triggers, whatever you want. And you can change this based on the time of day. Maybe if like stock values are going up or down, you can use this to automatically use these built in themes. And honestly, it is not that difficult to start theming your application with Xamarin Forms today using app theme bindings and dynamic resources in your application. I'll put a link to everything that I've shown you today inside of the My Coffee application. You can find links for that, the blog post, other video series that will really help guide you to success in theming your application. Hope that you really enjoyed this video. Um, I had fun making it. I really enjoy these app themes and everything that Xamarin Forms has to offer. And of course, all of this goodness will be baked into Donna Maui when it comes out later this year in 2021. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That super duper helps. Goes into the Google algorithm of YouTube goodness to recommend it to other people. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, if you want to stay up to date on everything we're doing here. And of course, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash James Montemagno. I do stream occasionally on Fridays where we build app clones and check out new previews of Don and Maui and all that good stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. 
Xamarin Forms 101 video and all the Xamarin Forms 101 videos that I've been putting out on my channel. So until next time, thanks for watching.